Welcome back to Tech by Pike. Today we are going to be unboxing the HP Omen 15 inch gaming laptop. You know, the Omen uh, actually was originated from another PC company called Voodoo PC back in the early 90s. Um, they did uh, desk, were known for desktops, but they went into a gaming laptop line, and eventually Voodoo PC was bought out. Uh, by HP back in 2006. They kind of, Voodoo has kind of the same um, similar story as Alienware, where Alienware, uh, the company was uh, either merged or bought out by Dell back in 2006. Anyway, it's one of those companies uh, back in the 90s where I would go out to their website. It was mainly Voodoo PC and Alienware. I'd go out to their website. I'd spec out my dream machine. I'd do a comparison between Alienware and Voodoo uh, and just kind of see which one I liked the best. And um, that's really it. I never purchased it. Uh, they were always too expensive and I was just starting out uh, in the workforce. Uh, where I'm at now, and so my career hadn't quite started, so I just didn't have the money to buy something uh, like that. Mine was a, uh, I think I had the gaming laptop, a Dell XPS, I think back then. Anyway, uh, we got the HP Omen 15 inch gaming laptop in today. This one comes with an i7 10750H processor, 512 gigabytes of solid state drive, 16 gigabytes of RAM. It has the RTX 3070 with 8 gigabytes, and that's the Max Q version. It has the 15.6 IPS LED display, 300 nits, and um, 300 hertz, three seconds response. I wanted to um, do this unboxing and review around the same time that we had the Alienware, uh, just because Alienware and Voodoo, HP and Dell kind of had similar stories, uh, but unfortunately we were only able to get it in now. Um, but uh, that's okay. Let's get into it now.
So the laptop alone weighs four pounds, 11.2 ounces, and with the power brick, it comes out to six pounds, 0.8 ounces. Pretty decent. So this laptop comes with an arrange of I.O. Uh, on the left-hand side, we've got the power jack, Ethernet cable port, USB-A, uh, HDMI, headphone jack, and we got a full-size SD slot. No fans, and down here you'll see uh, speaker venting there. Then on the right-hand side, you have USB-C with Thunderbolt, a display port, fan vents, and two more USB-A ports. And then on the back, you have all this venting right here. So we lift the lid, easily done with one finger. Uh, nice big mouse pad here, good action. There is not a lot of flex on the deck here, the palm rest. The keyboard, there's just a little bit of flex in the middle and then up by the screen here at the bottom, very little flex at all, so pretty solid. The keys themselves, uh, they're not my favorite. They seem a little shallow to me. I don't like it, but I do like this little spot up here where it has a number of the keys, the print screen, the home key, the page up and down, and then you got some arrow keys, but no number pad. Um, but in my opinion, uh, with gaming, I don't think it's that big of a deal. We do have a 720p uh, webcam and uh, the 300 hertz screen, which we'll test out later on uh, in our next video. Okay. The one thing I did notice about this laptop, the chassis, is it's not a fingerprint magnet. I call that a plus. Um, I have a razor blade um, 15 advanced model and it is terrible with fingerprints. But uh, this one, not so much. Okay, we're going to look at the internals here. Uh, the bottom plate is held in by Phillips screws, um, eight of them to be exact. And note to self that the four in back are larger than the four in front. Um, so just make note of that. Um, once we got the screws out, it was a little difficult um, to get the bottom plate off. We had to use our fix-it guitar pick here and a fingernail on the uh, left-hand corner and it eventually lifted up and unclicked uh, from the actual chassis. It's aluminum. So let's take a look inside here. We got the two 8 gig uh, memory chips. Uh, to 16 gigs that's great because we know now that we can upgrade the memory uh, we have two bays here for SSDs uh, one houses the 512 that the laptop came with and then we have an empty one here uh, for easy upgrade the Wi-Fi 6 card looks like it is soldered to the motherboard which is okay uh, I don't see Wi-Fi 7 coming out anytime soon and then we have the two fans and the heat pipes for the CPU and GPU. Oh, and the two side downward facing kind of to the side uh, woofer speakers here. Uh, we'll have to check those out in the next video. And that's pretty much it. Looks pretty good. Lots of opportunity for upgrading. So that's good news. The HP Omen 15-inch gaming laptop with its unassuming design has this blue diamond in the middle on top of the lid, um, just like last year. After a couple hours of using this, I did have to wipe it down because it was attracting all kinds of fingerprints. Not as bad as the razor blade laptops, but definitely uh, something that I had to break out the microfiber cloth and wipe it down with. There are some good things and some not so great things about this laptop and I'd like to hit the negatives right now and get those out of the way. So one of them are that the top of the lid here bows when you press down on it. There is quite a bit of flex there but once you move out toward the outer edges of the lid um, the flex is not so much an issue. Uh, another potential problem could be that there is this gap between the keyboard deck and the actual um, screen there is a rubber footing there i don't know if you see it or not through that crack there but it does stop the screen from hitting the deck the only thing is is there's still that bow there on both sides 
and it could become an issue. Let's say you're a student, you throw this into a backpack with a bunch of books and you toss it in your car or the bus or whatever. I don't know. Um, it, there is a potential of maybe something breaking or the screen cracking. I don't know if that's true or not. It's just something that I would be aware of or would want to be aware of. Something else that is a little bit of a nitpick when it comes to this laptop, and I don't know if it was a quality check miss or what, but the stickers here are not quite lined up. Now, if I buy a $1,700 to $2,000 laptop, I'd like it to come to me in a condition of pristine and uniform. I just like it to look good. And if it doesn't look good and things are out of place, it just ruins the experience for me. Um, I don't know about you, but um, I, it, it definitely impacts the way I see the laptop initially. I'm sure it's something that I'll get over and it's, you know, something that I forget about going forward. But I don't know, it's just, it's, I just don't like it. Let's talk about some positive things. The Omen 15 inch gaming laptop has a lot of venting. Um, has some intake here on top underneath the screen. Has some venting out the sides, both sides, and then out the back, and then has some intake on the bottom. Um, lots of airflow to reduce heat. I think that's great. The internals are pretty good on this laptop. Uh, the only other negative I was going to mention is that this laptop comes with 512 gigabytes of storage. Not a lot. The good news is that it comes with an extra M.2 storage bay where you can upgrade this laptop fairly easily. Two slots for RAM for upgradability. Nice. Um, it has the three heat pipes and the three heat sinks. Uh, to keep this laptop cool while playing AAA games. We'll find that out in the next video. And then the Wi-Fi card is soldered to the motherboard. It's Wi-Fi 6. I don't see this upgrading to Wi-Fi 7 anytime soon, so I don't think that's a big deal. Another positive is that it has a 300 hertz panel with G-Sync support, which is fantastic. And we'll test that in the next benchmarking video. It also has a camera at 720p. Not a big deal, but uh, good enough for Zoom calls and conference calls. Most gaming laptops don't have a camera, so in my book, that's a definite positive. So based on what I know so far, I would definitely recommend this laptop. And the good news is, out on Best Buy's website, the laptop that we bought for $17.99 is now down to $15.99, so $200 cheaper, which is fantastic. I'm guessing they're making room for the new Ryzen model of this laptop. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this from Tech by Pike, hit the subscribe button. We appreciate it. It helps the channel and it gives us an opportunity to bring more videos like this to you. Thanks a lot and we'll see you in the next one.